So as you can see, the dynamic island from iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max is on my Android device and in today's video, you will know how you can enable this on any device. Alright guys, I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, like I mentioned, I'm going to show you how to enable the dynamic island feature from the iPhone 14 in any device. So all you need to do is watch till the end. I have a surprise for you by the way, so make sure to stick till the end and let's go ahead and start the tutorial. So the first thing you need to do, you're going to go to the Play Store and search for an application called Dynamic Island. In case you can't find this from the region that you're on, you can open the description box and download it from there. By the way, both ways work, you can download it or search for it on the Play Store, whichever suits you best. So after you find the application, make sure to tap on download or tap on install and wait for the application to start downloading. While the application is downloading, I'm going to wait for it to be installed and then when the installation process is done, I'm going to open the application and I'll show you what you need to do. So as you can see, now the application is installed, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And once you open it for the first time, just make sure to turn off Wi-Fi. It makes the process a bit smoother and then press on get started and then make sure to give it notification access. Tap on agree so that it works properly and then choose downloaded apps and then choose dynamic island. This will enable the application from the settings so that the dynamic island can work anywhere and simultaneously with notifications just like the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. So tap on OK and then you will have the first process or the first step of the process finished. Go back to the application and let's go ahead and do the next step. And then you need to tap on enable notifications. So just press on agree one more time. It will take you to the settings. From here, choose dynamic island and then turn on allow notification access. Wait for that notification access to be granted and then you will see your dynamic island shown on your screen and it will be really smooth. So before you start using it, you need to also play with the settings so that it can work with your device properly. So just press on next and then you can press on display. Here you can play with the dimensions of the dynamic island. You can make it bigger, you can make it wider, you can have it um, suit your display the way you want. And that's how uh, you actually make it work. So as you can see, mine is a bit wider than usual and that's because my screen ratio is bigger. So that's why I've done that. So as you can see, it works smoothly. You can also play Spotify music on it and then you can change it. So if this video is to your satisfaction, don't forget to subscribe, by the way. It will show that you like the video and it will give me a motivation to make more videos similar to this. So as you can see, it's working properly. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have a surprise for you. So in case you're into this point of this video, that means you watched all the end and that means a lot to me. So let's show what the surprise is. So. As a way of showing my community and my subscribers a way of thank you, I will show your comment in the next video. So all you need to do is comment on this video so you can have it shown in the next video that I post. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.